Hey everyone, how y'all doing today? Lumpy here, and today we have a couple of Dragon's Maze boosters we're going to rip into, so let's get to it. Alrighty. Wake the reflection. Populate. It's a sorcery. Put a token on the battlefield that's a copy of a creature token you control for a one. Make a copy of a token. That's pretty awesome for one. Yeah, man. That just caught my eye. Anyway, here's our uh, uncommons. Look at the artwork on that. Um, Ascended Law Madge. Has flying and hex proof a three two for four two an island and a plains. Give us a little more light here. All right, and we have Maw of the Obsidet, a thrall. Sacrifice a creature. Creatures you control get plus one plus one until end of turn for three a plains and a swamp. It's a three three. That's some awesome artwork as well. Species Gorger, a frog beast. At the beginning of your upkeep, return a creature you control to its owner's hand. It's a 6-6 six, six for 5, 3, an island, and a forest. And our rare is Obsidet's Aid. Return target a permanent card from your graveyard to the battlefield. For 5, 3, a plains, and a swamp. Orzov Guildgate. More awesome artwork. And all things magic in one place. Alrighty. A Goblin Berserker, Riot Piker. Rectos Drake. Look at the art on that, man. That is incredible. Another Wake the Reflection. And our Uncommons. Feral Animist. Feral Animist gets plus X plus zero until end of turn, where X is its power. For three, it costs one, a mountain, and a forest, and it's a two one. Crisis Incubation. Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature can't attack or block, and its activate abilities can't be activated. For two, a forest and an island. For one, a forest and an island. Return crisis of incubation to its owner's hand. Put two one one counters on enchanted creature. Oh, that's cool. So the person can take it off and get two one one counters on it. Yeah, interesting. Profit and loss. Creatures you control get plus one plus one until end of turn, and creatures your opponent controls get minus one minus one until end of turn. And our rare is Rurik Thar, the Unbowed. Legendary creature, Ogre Warrior. Has vigilance and reach. Rurik Thar, the Unbowed, attacks each turn if able. It's a 6-6 six, six for 6. For a mountain and a uh, uh, forest. Whenever a player casts a non-creature spell, Rurik Thar deals 6 damage to that player. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, man. I could see that being used. Rorik Thar the Unbowed. Anybody know what that's worth? Maybe a buck or two? Orzov Guildgate again. 
Yeah, man. I could use these guild gates, I'll tell you what. And a soldier token. I got a couple cards that say uh, if you control three gates or four gates or something like that, you get whatever you get. But I remember that, but I do need gates. Yeah, man. Look at that little chicky, huh? Dragon's Maze chicky. Alrighty, blazing right through them. Ooh, Armored Wolf Rider. Fatal Fumes. Murmuring Phantasm. That's some crazy artwork. Check that out. Weapon Surge. Riot Control. A Woodlot Crawler. Ooh, that's the beginning of our uncommons. Woodlot Crawler. For two, an island and a swamp, you get a 2-1 with Forest Walk and Protection from Green. Yeah, man. Alive and well. Alive. Put three. Put a 3-3 three, three green centaur creature token on the battlefield. And well is you gain two life for each creature you control. That only costs one. Yeah, man. You may cast one or both halves of this card from your hand. That is pretty awesome. For four, you can play alive. For one, you can play well. Ooh. Give and take. Put three 1-1 one, one counters on target creature or take is remove all 1-1 one, one counters from target creature you control. Draw that many cards. They each cost three, and you can play one or both. Pretty cool. And our rare is Pyrewild Shaman. A Goblin Shaman. Uh, that might be good in, our, in my Goblin deck. For three, you get a 3-1 with Blood Rush. Uh... For one in a mountain, discard Pyrewild Shaman. Target attacking creature gets plus three, plus one until end of turn. Whenever one or more creatures you control deals combat damage to a player, if Pyrewild Shaman is in your graveyard, you may pay three. If you do, return Pyrewild Shaman to your hand. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Yeah, man. And a Simic Guild Gate. Yeah, man, that is beautiful artwork as well. Look at that, man. That's crazy cool. The Planeswalker Ralzarek specializes in the high voltage magic of storms and lightning. He sides with the Izzet Guild, who share his daredevil attitude for a penchant and his penchant for pushing the limits of magic. Never even heard of that dude, Ralzarek. Anyway. What are you thinking? Are you thinking it's a good one? Hey, give us a thumbs up. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit that subscribe button right over there in the corner. I think it's right down there. Right there somewhere. Anyway, hit that if you would, please. It would really help me out. And uh, once I get to 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving a bunch of stuff away. All kinds of craziness. But uh, we'll see when I get to 1,000 subscribers what happens. All right. Mending Touch, Uncovered Clues, Golgari Clue Stone, Azorius Clue Stone, Gruel Clue Stone. Maze Sentinel, 3-6 six for 6, with Vigilance. Pilford Plans, Rakdos Clue Stone, Battering Crasis. And our Uncommons, Bronzeback Moa. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Bronzeback Moa gets plus 3, plus 3 until end of turn. That's pretty cool. Turn and Burn. For three, uh, target creature loses all abilities and becomes a 0-1 red weird until end of turn. And burn is two, an instant. Burn deals two damage to target creature or player. 
Huh. So you could make your opponent's creature into a nothing, zero one, until end of turn. Pretty much you can kill him. All right, a Cordoza Gar Gorgon has death touch. That's some awesome artwork. Look at that little chickadee, little Gorgon chick. Anyway, death touch. Remove a 1-1 one, one counter from your creature you control. Target creature gets minus 1, minus 1 until end of turn. It's a 2-5 five for 5. 3, a swamp, and a forest. Oh, a mythic. Voice of Resurgence. Yeah, man. Uh, for 2, you get a 2-2. Two, two. Whenever an opponent casts a spell during your turn or when Voice of Resurgence dies, put a green and white elemental creature token onto the battlefield with... This creature's power and toughness are each equal to the number of creatures you control. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, that's going in a, a Demir Guildgate and a Centaur token. That's going in a uh, sleeve right away. Anybody know if that's worth anything? Voice of Resurgence. Mythic. Is it worth anything? Let me know down in the comments if you would, please. Thank you very much. Ugh. Come on, open. Mobile Sar Gatekeepers. See that? If you control two or more gates, target creature and opponent controls gets minus two, minus two until end of turn. Yeah, man. Demir Cluestone, Boris Mastiff, Uncovered Clues, Rubble Belt Maka, Zerta Druid, Livy Decree, Laev Decree, Maze Abomination, a 4 5 for 6. With Death Touch, Maze Glider, Rakdos Clue Stone, and our Uncommons, Warped Physique. <laughs> yeah, that's me when I go to the gym. I get that Warped Physique with the tiny little head with the big old body. <laughs> wow. Anyway, target creature gets plus X minus X until end of turn where X is the number of cards in your hand. That's interesting. War Leader's Helix. Look at that artwork. Look at that little chickadee. Man, she's a cutie pie. But uh, that's an instant for two, a mountain, and a plains. War Leader's Helix deals, deals four damage to target creature or player, and you gain four life. Yeah, man. Goblin Test Pilot, a goblin wizard for one, an island, and a mountain. You tap him, and he has flying. Tap him, and Goblin Test Pilot deals two damage to target creature or player chosen at random. That's pretty cool. I guess at random, you know, would be, bam, your guy across, you know, if you're only playing one-on-one. -on -one. Anyway, it's a 0-2. And Zerta Ancient is our rare. Whenever a player taps a land for mana, that player adds one mana to his or her mana pool of any type that land produced. So I'm assuming you tap a land for mana and you get another mana. It's a 7-5 five for 5. 3, a mountain and a forest. That is pretty awesome. A 7-5 five for 5. And a Rakdos Guildgate. Look at the artwork on that, man. The Rakdos Guildgate. Ignite your spark. All right. Let's uh, get to the last pack here. Remember, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Say hi to the little chicky. And we're going to bust her open. Alrighty. Last pack. Give us some luck. Give us a thumbs up. Armored Wolf Rider. 
Is it Cluestone? Rubble Belt Maka. Hired torturer. That's me. They hire me to torture people. Just by talking to them. <laughs> anyway, Drown in Filth. Interesting. Choose target creature, put the top four cards of your library into your graveyard, then that creature gets minus one, minus one until end of turn for each land card in your graveyard. Wow. For two? Opal Lake Gatekeepers. Enters the battlefield. If you control two or more gates, you may draw a card. Laev Decree. Detain up to two target creatures your opponents control. Until next turn. Pilfered Plans. Sinister Possession. Kroll Warrior. An Insect Warrior. And I believe this is our Uncommons. Unflinching Courage. In Aura. Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus two, plus two, and has Trample and Lifelink. Yeah, man. For three? Pretty awesome. Awesome artwork as well. Purify. Destroy target artifact or creature. It can't be regenerated for three. One an island, or one a swamp and a forest. And profit and loss. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn, and creatures your opponent controls get minus one, minus one until end of turn. And our rare is Plasm Capture. Counter target spell at the beginning of your next pre-combat main phase. Add X mana in any combination of colors to your mana pool where X is that spell's converted mana cost. And a Gruel Guild Gate. And a Soldier Token. And there you have it. Y'all have a great day. Let me know what y'all think of those cards. Try everything once, twice if you like it. Try anything once, twice if you like it. Y'all have a good one. Lumpy out.